All right, guys, welcome back to more Let's Play uh, Sly Cooper uh, 4 uh, Thieves in Time. We have some clues that we need to go get. I see one up there, but I'm... Oh, no, I think we can get it. I think that I see a vine there. In which then there's a clue over there in that bird's nest, a clue in that circle there, which will bring us to, what, 25? Let me just make sure that I don't miss anything else that I'm looking at here. I think we're, I think we're good. So I think I think we can kind of just go and see what will happen. Okay. Well, um. Okay, there's there's one of them. Is that the flame door, really? Hmm. Oh, there's one. Oh, okay, okay. So actually, I think I can do it this way. So let's do this. Nope, 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 nope. Fly me back. Oh, you moron. Okay, well, I'll take this one. This was one I saw. There we go. Here's one that I've now seen. Which then I can grab onto this. Climb up here. Which gives me this one. Then this would allow me to... Pull it onto there. I don't even know what that that would do, and we don't even have this ability yet anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, there should be... Yep, there's one there. I think we might have to check out Unga as a uh, possible area for clues. I also kind of want to test my thinking, because that there is... Uh, the fire door it don't like that it don't like that don't jump there <laughs> ah great now I'm over this way okay so there's the one that we're going for completely fell where am I that would launch us to there and I don't know where there is where is that All these extra abilities that we're going to need to get. Okay. Need to get up to there, which I can do via... I'll just by going over here. Uh... There we go. Then we might want to check over to the right there for a second. Okay, we're missing four clues. Let's just see if we see anything bouncing around near us. I mean... Oh. Really? There we go. Alright, Unga is not a place that we can get to. So now let's start keeping an ear out for, uh, 
bottle noises. Ow. There we go. Jesus. Not what I intended to do. <laughs> Now, where was that area that I, like, fell down to? It was by the river. But it was, like, by a portion of the river that I had not seen. Was it this? Yeah, it was this. Which then it somehow... Okay, so... I don't think I can do this, but... I mean, we'll test it. Also, there's a clue. Nice. How do I get to this? By dropping down from above. Got it. Just not what I wanted. Jesus. There we go. You're an idiot. All right. Lava Rock Spearhead for an extra hundred. How are there so many enemies right here? There we go. What's this area? Bow and arrow here? Why? Oh my goodness. Okay, so the other area now that I want to check. Just get rid of him so it's less problematic. So we want to try and get to this area. Which we can't do from there, but we're not far off. Maybe if I had a little bit more height, we could do it. Right? I'm a bit further away now, but I can come here. Actually, I think I can get even closer by coming here. No! Why did... Oh, I cut off my... Cut off my thing. So, let's see. I'm still further away. I'm still higher. Or, I'm... Um, Closer, I'm higher up. Okay. I, th I think it's possible. I think we can definitely do that. Cheat the system a little bit. <laughs> um, is that a portal? Like, what is that over there? Oh, there's a clue on the river. Beautiful. There's also a clue around here that I can hear. Oh, you know what I could do? Samurai costume. Can't do that on lava. Got it. <laughs> okay. Let's go back over that way because that actually... I heard a clue. I saw a clue. Oh, there's actually a treasure up there? Oh, now I need to go up there. How do I get up here? No, stop it. Stop it. What are you doing? Thank you. Not going to deal with that. <laughs> okay. Nice. 
No, what do you, why? All right. Nope, stop sliding off the arms. Okay. Just making sure there's nothing else like visible. Where are we going? We're going right back that way. Got it. And woo! Oh no, it was, oh, I was so close. I bet if I didn't hold on to the, um, thing for so long, I would have been fine. That's a really nice way to get back. Get up. Thank you. There we go. Got it. What is this? Sly Tech and Hamen something. Clockwork Collector. What's that? It's probably like collect 20 artifacts or something. Twenty treasures, sweet. Okay, um, so going back now. <laughs> so we need to go down here. So I can hear one like right above us. We can't go that way, so there's no point. Uh, there's another treasure here. Seriously? Thank you. Nope. Okay, we're going to leave that treasure for later. He just fell to his death. I blame him. Ooh, we can do this. That doesn't help me. Because <laughs> I still don't know what this is for. Okay, where am I? Oh, actually, that's nice. Well, I I failed doing that, but that's okay. We can we can fix that. There we go. Oh, I can't get back that way. Okay, well that works. Although now I am curious, like, what else is down the river? Because I hear another clue here. Oh, it's right there. Wow. Okay. Hmm. That launches me up. I don't know why I'm going this way. Maybe just being here. Perfect. All right, we have found the we have found all of the um, 
clues. We have a um a treasure that we know the location of. Come here. No, stop it. Stop it. Give me that. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so what I need to do is trace back the river. Yep, here we go. Go back down here. Go to where the monkey is. Okay, here we go. We only have 30 seconds, so this is going to be a... Or 30 seconds is actually generous for some of these. But we'll have to see. That was a mistake. I don't know how I'm supposed to get up here. And it's definitely not that way. Um... Oh, I guess maybe this guy, huh? Yeah, doing that guy might help. Okay. Let's go find our uh, little uh, launch pad friend. Where'd he go? There he is. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it, but. Oh, we'll make it. Just barely. The Mona Lita. <laughs> Alright, now. Where is the safe? There it is. But it's under us. So I got to. I got to find it. It's in a deep, deep hidden cavern. Here we go. No, stop it. There. There we go. And we get the clockwork eye savings account. Huh. Okay. Let's see what that is. And then we're going to go and review all the treasure that we have. Unlock the Cooper safe in episode three. Got it. Okay, so now the hideout is up here somewhere. Got it. Okay, let's go into here. 60% of safe, 60% of bottles. That's nice. 35% of the treasures, 41% of the masks, which I'm actually a bit shocked about. Okay. Okay. So we have nothing on thief net available. Those are our costumes. That's our van. That's inoperable. Okay. Uh, there's there's so much. It wasn't that. I don't believe it was that. Flux driver, Mona Lita. The portrait of this young lady is the Mona Lita, the famous detective. Soon after the painting was finished, she revealed herself to the artist and apprehended him for forging canvases. <laughs> That's the mugshot coin. We saw that one. We saw that one. The lucky Neko, just in case, made of the finest porcelain. This lucky stat catch you is said to bring both good luck and wealth, thus ensuring pickpocketing success. Okay, so... The single piece of clockwork survived the destruction of the hate ship, lending truth to its claim that the Cooper gang has not lost... has not seen the last of him. Possessing this potentially evil artifact reveals the location of bottles... And safes in the binocucom. Awesome. I won't be looking around again. The limestone covered in precious rubies. Gems like this were collected to decorate Grizz's crown. And gave him the sense of worth he always desired. The Grizz often pulled out this skull to scare the saber-toothed soldiers into following orders. It's actually made of hollow wood, but they wouldn't know the difference. 
The first, the very first wheel was made of stone and started off square, but after years of rigorous testing, the shape started to form and turned out becoming a hexagonal shape. A few more tumbles down the hill and who know what shape it would turn out to be. Eggs like this used to be the main source of food for the inhabitants of the region, but after Grizz and his minions arrive, they have become more and more scarce. Sly Takenhamen's vase. Young Sly Takenhamen would place this vase in hallways and hide inside, waiting for unsuspecting victims to walk by before peeking out to grab valuables. I think that's everything we picked up here. Cash is the perfect gift any time of the year, and this sassy currency tote is the perfect accessory for any Wild West fashionista. Made from faux-weathered burlap with a thick horse horsehair braid, which easily cinches up to protect your precious currency. It's literally just a bag of cash and a gold bar. We have nothing on, like, the right shelf, it seems. But, oh, man, is that clockwork eye a really good... Um, really good safe grab. That's going to be super helpful during uh, episodes four and five. So when we come back, uh, we have some jobs to do as Sly. So thanks for watching and I'll see you then.